Voxter just completed uh, the annual meeting. We had some, uh, let's say, quite a bit of drama over the last week or so. And I'm sitting down with Gary to discuss what happened with the votes, what happened at the meeting. And all of you want to hear from Gary. So thanks, Gary, for joining me. My pleasure. And maybe at the outset, um, my heartfelt gratitude um, to you and all of your investors that took the time and the energy to vote to support us words can't describe um how much uh i'm in debt to you for that support it's a pretty humbling episode that took place it always um, is a mutual thing it's never a one-sided um perspective or maybe it can't be but in my view everything that happens to you is a lesson in life and it's kind of what you do um, with it um, that that makes you know the person that you are i'm a strong believer that when anybody and i'm not talking about what happened in in, in lately with us but in, in life when someone goes low you go high right and so we want to handle things with professionalism, with dignity. What does it matter if my feelings are hurt? What does it matter if there is, you know, any kind of um, uh, personal upfront? It doesn't matter. You know, what matters to the shareholders that that is our way forward is the right thing to do. Our path forward is in the best interest of Boxer and its shareholders and you know any personal uh, issues we'll deal with them that's what we have to do only know that whatever we do will be in the best interest of the shareholders i've done that since i started i returned every phone call every email message um, i've been made myself available to you and your contingent group that and followers that listen to you whether it's on youtube or just internally with your own specific group um, it's been extremely important to be allowed to provide my voice to your shareholders and, you know, to you personally, um, there is significant gratitude. I know you're a shareholder. I know you believe in Boxer. I also know you to be a fine moral fiber and that would never, ever suggest to do anything other than what is in the best interest for your investors and, and your team. And, and I believe that. But um, to all of the people that supported, um, wow, that has just been so um, gratifying for me. I'm, I'm humbled by it. I know that we've taken you um, on a journey, highs and lows. Um, I think the thing that's upsetting is that um, while the people at Blue Water have you know, their concerns and their grievances, I think that they should be heard. Um, I'm not going to count on what they are, who they are, or how they are, or who's this and who's that. It's not important. They are professional people. They do a great job in what they do. They're highly skilled. And um, we need to find a path forward. And so we, whatever happens, we need to put behind us. And so, um, and same with, you know, the people at Rice Park. I mean, you know, and I guess Jim Albertelli, I mean, that, that whole group that, decided to um, ascend down and ask for change. Sure, everybody that went into that um, consortium decided to go in for their own personal, um, it was their own personal decision of why they wanted to change. And, you know, I choose to take the high road and say they're entitled to a vote just like everyone else. But, um, you know, after, um, after all of this and everything we've been through, and it hasn't been a straight road. I mean, we were down, we went up to a buck and a half, as you know, there's a lot of people that didn't sell then when they could have, we're all the way down. Guess what? When we're down, we're gonna go back up again. Like I am working and will continue to do whatever I can to support boxer holders. I've got millions of dollars of my own money. I care very deeply about the people that have invested in this company and i will do whatever i can to make sure that we get these these stocks back so my you know my um you know continued 
commitment to allow this to go forward. So thank you so all very much for, for your support. I'm humbled. Now, uh, was uh, can, can you say anything about, I know you can't say the exact count of the votes, but was it even close? Were you ahead a lot? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's a thing that like, like I say, when sometimes people go low, you go high. Um, I said it in the outset, it was overwhelming. It, it was overwhelming. And, um, I believe hence, you know, why they weren't in the counts today, but, um, we found a professional way to work together, um, to hear their voice. Um, and, um, as a, as a chairman and as a CEO, I need to respect what their concerns are and we need to deal with it. All right. Their, their voice counts just like everyone's voice counts. Um, were we happy in the manner that was done? Of course not. But I, I just want to just keep it at that. You know, I want to stay high. I want to stay professional. Um, we bought them for a reason. They're smart. You know, they're, they're um, very capable of what they do believe in blue water i believe the blue water would be a tremendous success i believe in all the people that are there and so my view is to find a way forward if possible so of course of course some people are asking you know what's going to happen to uh al is he going to get fired yeah. uh what's going to happen to blue water any thoughts on that um the thoughts are is i need to find a way to go forward to do the best thing for Boxster um, and for shareholders. Um, I'll continue to say that Al is a very talented man. Al um, um, has got tremendous loyalty with his team. Um, and so uh, Al and I will continue to talk and, and figure out, you know, what's best for him and what's best for Boxster. And, you know, I, like I say, we love the business. We love the opportunity going forward. And um, I'm just not that type of person, you know, that says, oh, you did this to me or you did that to me. And that's it. It's not the way it works. You need me to be a leader. You need me to do the best thing for this company. And I think that over um, that the coming days and weeks that uh, we'll have lots of conversations and we'll come to a conclusion, a mutual conclusion of what that is. If it's to go forward with us, that's that's a good thing. If it's um, irreparable, then you find you know a professional way to do it with respect, right? I don't know what that is because it's it would be presumptuous for me to to speak on behalf of Al for his team and for his, for Al. I believe in the capabilities. I believe in the success of the company. I don't really know um, what way is forward right now because um because it takes two doesn't it right it takes two you know they have to be willing to want to go forward too i do believe from the bottom of my heart that i have been nothing but supportive on all initiatives that they had from you know you know providing and supporting costs for development in so many new measures whether it's pre and post closed due diligence whether it's entering into the foray of you know, whole loans and non-QM, you know, whether it's, you know, developing, you know, the um, uh, the opportunity to, uh, it's developing an opportunity to, to work with, um, you know, mortgage originators, um, whether it's an opportunity to work with, uh, you know, the tokenization aspects of it. I mean, it's all, uh, it's it's all um it's all part of you know collaborating communicating talking you're not going to hear a, a bad word to say um the most i'm ever going to go and say is i was disappointed only know that we will do the right thing do i know what that answer is i think that there always has to be a post-mortem and a conversation and discussion and saying um what's the right path forward right and you know i you know we have to have those discussions i do have respect for al Qureshi and his ability to lead the team i do have respect 
you know, for, for his team, especially. They do have a home. There, There is, you know, a way forward, I believe. Um, but, you know, uh, there's no sense in me, you know, um, negotiating something in the form of a, you know, a shareholder base. I just have a fiduciary responsibility to all of my uh, members of Boxer, of which they are too, to make sure that we have wholesome discussions and uh, figure it out, right? Just to figure it out, uh, you know, go high is my, is my report. Before this uh, drama started, uh, you talked about how you had uh, certain things on the table about to announce I don't know what it was, uh, disposition or, or whatever, but is this back on track? Are you working to get it back on track? Where are those initiatives now that this happened? Well, I, I think it's pretty safe to say without you know breaking any issue of confidentiality, um, we did have three things on track. We were working towards things. Everybody knows that we're looking at some non-core assets that we may continue need to, to dispose of to help eliminate or eliminate the debt. And I also said that, you know, other ways of doing it is creating joint ventures where one and one equals five. I mean, you know, hypothetically, for example, if a green, if a uh, blue water, let's say that they were making $10 million a year and I sold 10% of the business, right? But by virtue of doing that sale and they become a partner with us, they increase my business by 40%. Everyone would say that's a pretty good trade. And so, um, as I've said out loud, on every business we have, we will look at strategic core assets to find partnerships and make this company better. And we will probably have to dispose of other assets that may not be deemed core um and they do whatever we can we have 27.5 million dollars worth of debt um i think there is a strong desire to make that amount de minimis we continue to work closely with the bank um we have some things on the table and uh yes you know there's been damage because of this and so there's things that we have to you know put back back on the tracks um so I don't know yet because uh, yesterday um, we had um, in front of us a demand um, and request, you know, that, you know, that my whole board and myself be removed. And uh, and so, you know, your, your overwhelming support and by many, many others, it became absolutely critically clear that the trust is is with us. It's not a blind trust. You know, we know, you know, that, you know, we cannot take that vote for us and support lightly. Um, we gotta double down on it. We gotta do everything that we need to do. It's the right thing. Um, there's great growth, you know, on the, you know, on the trading side of the capital market side of the business at all has great growth, there's great synergistic benefits. Um, I'm, you know, uh, we bought it for a reason, right? We think it's strategic. We think it's, uh, um, you know, a great growth business. We like the technology play. Everything, you know, nothing has changed in that regard. Uh, something has changed from their side, uh, and we need to address it. And, you know, I don't think um, that, you know, I look in the mirror and say, oh, it's all your fault. I, I just think that just like everything else, if you want something bad enough, what you need to do is you need to sit down and talk it out and find a path forward. I don't know what that path is yet because I owe Al, uh, I think that we owe a weekend at least to kind of decompress and remove all emotions and then sit down respectfully um and and figure out you know what that path is forward and whatever i do will be in the best interest of this company
All right. Well, thank you for doing this interview. People wanted to hear it. Um, any any final comments before we finish? Um, you have no idea what this has done to my management team. You know, it was a kick, but most importantly, the the overwhelming support that we got um, from boats uh, in talking to the proxy uh, companies that we hired had never seen anything like this in their history. You know, especially most proxy bites that are brought forward by management, they know. And so, you know, it's it's fait accompli. They've never seen such overwhelming support. And and quite frankly, I mean, what's interesting is, is that we have our our friends in Finland. We have over or close to eleven 1, hundred investors, over a thousand investors there. I think that, you know, that, as your team knows, most of you guys are involved on the chat board and everything else. But did they? But on. did they? Did they get to vote? No, the investors. No, they did it. But I, I, I just know uh, that um, I've talked to so many, and I set up an interview um, to provide them, along with you know your interviews, some more insight. Um, I sat down and did a two-hour uh, video with them, fully recorded. Uh, most of the things I've answered already through you, through the number of interviews that I have, but you know, that um, is reached out. I think it was covered by a very nice man named Eunice. Uh, that's, he's under the tab Mongolian. And and so um, I think that they have had a lot of frustrations with, with um, our company over the years. It's, it's, it's inevitable when you have performance like we've had as far as a share price. Um, it's really, really bothersome to me too. Um, but I think if anything has permeated through all of this is that they have trusted our sincerity. They have trusted, which is a big thing to, to be able to get today. They believe that our, all of our things that we're doing is noble. You know, they, they, they do think that most of the things that we're doing are laudable. They do know that we need improvement. We do know the change is coming. But um, if we had have had, I think there's about 150 million votes. And you know, to, to any of your investors that are listening, there's many that go with discount brokers. And if you read the fine line, it basically says that we do not have to participate in providing uh, your control numbers and voting as a proxy for you uh, or as directed by you for your shares. And so they're sitting there, you know, with two weeks to go and saying, now what are we going to do? And by the time that they, you know, get their brokers pulled and get those votes over and then to go, you know, get it into the U.S. through Broadhurst and to a U.S. bank and then eventually into the TS. TSX, there's a number of steps that go through and was too insurmountable. And so for us to be able to win so overwhelmingly, uh, so overwhelmingly, and you know, to be able to to um, come forth the way we did without that support, which we know was there, is even more um, testimony to the uh, belief that we're gonna fix this company, fix this company and get it to where we need it to be. Um, one thing uh, from what you just said that I think is a lesson for all of us, but also a lesson to other public companies, because it is amazing to see what kind of shareholder base we've built by by you being available uh, for the interviews always, and also the social media platform, what kind of power we created, power in people. Uh, uh it's 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 truly amazing to see that uh, uh what what we've accomplished all together yeah it's um beyond amazing i i, I think that um it is comforting to know that your voice counts you know whether it had went with us or against it your voice counts and the fact is is that you provided a forum um to allow us to represent our company and ask as you know not just 
the easy questions, but the tough questions. Others have done the same. And um, it's amazing, you know, that with that knowledge that they have and with the relationship that you build, and relationship takes time and attention, as you know, on both sides, uh, you know, hundreds of texts and emails and that every day. You know, it's a, it's a hard one because, you know, you just think you're going home and you can actually for once put your feet up and all of a sudden you've got 70 or 80 texts in that. And, and you say to yourself, well, you know, they put their money in us. They deserve a response. And so um, I really do believe that they do believe in the company. And I think that they do believe that I'll do everything I can my power to move heaven and earth to make sure this is a, a success. Yeah, it's uh, like I say, I have nothing but gratitude. All right. So uh, for the end, uh, congratulations and thank you for doing this interview. You're welcome. Thanks again, everyone.